Hey guys, Brayden here for GSHelper.com, and today I'm just going to show you an easy way to um, to change velocity on an actor. Um, when I receive templates in an email for support, um, a lot of people, depending on what they want to do, they will actually have an actor overlaid on their image, and um, it, it pretty much just constrains to this actor's position. And then when you touch that invisible actor, that white one you just saw, it changes a boolean to true, and then it'll change velocity. And uh, people think that they have to do that so that they have a radius where the mouse can actually touch. Um, so it's, they just uh, changed it to zero, the alpha, so that you can't see it. And I'm just constraining the self x and self y to these index game attributes. And then I just say when touch is pressed, I'm just going to inform the game that we touched this box right here. Um, and then in here, uh, I have a collide and accelerate for gravity. And then I'm constraining game.x and game.y to self x and self y. Um, and then I created a rule when game.touch is true, so when we touch that invisible actor, it's just going to change velocity and um, you know shoot off in whichever direction and then after 0 0.3 seconds it's going to change it to false and so even though it works it's um, it's probably not the best idea so I'm going to show you how to uh, to fix that um, one of the reasons it's not the best idea is because maybe you need to um, keep changing the radius or the, the, the size of this actor Maybe you want a big touch area like this. Wherever you touch, you can see right there. It just keeps hitting it. Or you really want a, a small actor. Um, you can. You have to change this and then press preview again and go through all that hassle. So I'm gonna just show you how to uh, to do something different, and it's a lot easier. So, first get rid of that actor, that invisible actor. We don't need that. Go into your actor that you'll be touching. Um, and we're just going to, we're going to keep the collide. I'm just colliding with the walls. We're going to keep the accelerate. Direction 270, acceleration 800, relative to scene. We're going to keep that. We don't need these two constraints. We can get rid of that. We don't need this rule, but we do need these two change velocity these two behaviors, the change velocity and the rotate to angle. So we're going to drag those out, okay, and we're just going to um, get rid of that rule. Alright, so we need to create a self attribute, and we're going to name this index. It's going to be an index attribute, and we're going to say how far from mouse, okay? Now we're going to set this to uh, about 100 for right now just to test. This is 100 pixels from the center of this actor that you'll be able to touch and it will actually do these um, uh, behaviors here. So we're going to create a rule and we're going to say when attribute self dot uh, how far from mouse is greater than magnitude self position x uh, minus mouse position x and for y we're going to go self position y minus mouse position y okay and then we're gonna click this plus sign and we're gonna say when mouse button is down okay so we're gonna make sure when we actually touch this actor within the radius of this attribute this index we are going to grab these behaviors that we already have we're gonna drag them down and put them in this rule okay and um, uh, let's see that should be about it so let's go ahead and go out and we'll do this and you'll see now that when you touch, it will actually accelerate in the opposite direction. That's, you know, the change velocity behavior we had in there. 
So if you need to actually change the size or the, the radius of this touch, you can actually go and change it just with the change attribute. This Just change this index attribute. And then you'll see 300. So you can actually click it from all the way out here. Uh, you can do it really small, like 50. So you have to be really precise to get it. I don't know what you guys are going to make out of this, but um, I just thought that I would go ahead and, and show you this because it's so much easier. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I will have this um, for download, this project file, uh, for you guys to download over at gshelper.com. So if you're interested, you can uh, go over there and download this, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.